Hello, YouTubers. Well, I am here to talk about uh, some of the pro things that I make. Um, you could say products too, projects that I have. Um, today, I am just going to go over a couple. Uh, one uh, is made of resin. Um, the others are um, sensory bottles, which are good for stress relief. And um, the other one that I'm going to talk about are water candles that I that I make that are actually very easy to make and they can be a lot of fun. I also make the uh, floating candles that go inside because they get kind of pricey when you go to buy floating candles even if you go to the less expensive stores. So first off, um, I will uh, show you one of my pieces. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this. Uh, I know because I can't get the close up right now because of the camera. But um, this is considered um, Organite, and the thing behind Organite is that it has an energy uh, of its own. The energy is built up based on um, organic and inorganic uh, objects inside of resin. So uh, this particular one has a, a quartz crystal in the clear quartz crystal at the top, which helps magnify any energy. Um, and then that's wrapped in copper, which helps conduct the energy as well. And then it's layered with different, uh, I have different vibrational stones through here, and then more copper and then stone. So it's layer, layer, layer. And I usually put in uh, some form of a glittery thing just for because it's a piece of art it's something that you're looking at all the time so this is you can turn it and look at it and it's different each time so it's kind of cool um so that's one another one is a this one is um this can be uh, you can either put it in the window you can just use it as a coaster um for me this particular one has nice texture the back is smooth and um, the front is kind of bumpy because this particular one is made of uh, sea glass which is very hard to see unless you're right on top of it uh, and it's clear so you know that makes it doubly hard and uh, it also has uh, different glitter pieces in it so it's really nice in the light and like I said on the top uh, you can actually feel the texture of the sea glass in the background you may hear the cat but that's okay uh this is another one a uh, different type um more it um same principle only flatter and um only flatter <laughs> you will go with that and again you can put them in the window you can use them as coasters um uh, this particular one i tried a uh experiment um on the energy by you put it in the freezer underneath a glass of water and then you after the glass of water freezes uh, you look at the water and you can actually see uh, a funnel from the energy of this pushing the ice up so it's really kind of cool if you ever try that the other thing that i wanted to uh, show you about uh, think about these organite um, pieces also is how you can tell that there is energy, like there's energy in everything. So, um, not sure how much you're going to see this, but hopefully you should. You see how it's working right away on its own. It's going uh, clockwise. Um, and sometimes I don't. I'm not sure like what clockwise, counterclockwise, that that makes much of a difference. But the fact that it's moving, I think, is good. But there probably is uh, more to it. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of energy going through it. So that's with the piece. Now let's try it again with just how this actually comes from your, like, from your body, because you have chakras all over your body, um, and some of the main places are your hands, your feet, um, you know, your knees, um, and they kind of put out the most uh, outside of the regular seven chakras that we have. So as you can see, it's 
really moving it pretty well. I am not moving it. It's going on its own. Uh, and that's just from my hand. So that's the energy from me. Uh, and then you can see how it's going to, to the objects. The other thing I want to talk about was uh, briefly was water candles. Um, these water candles are pretty simple to make and uh, fun. And uh, I've made a few of these and I also make um, the candle as well because like I said, they seem to come pricey. Um, the floating candles, I didn't realize how easy they were to make, but they, they can be. And uh, last but not least, I think, if I haven't talked about this in the very beginning, or uh, this is part of, this is the, I'm not sure what to call it yet, uh, sensory bottle, I guess, at this point is what I'm going to call it, but they're good for stress. When I, uh, I used to do phone work, I made these for when I'm on the phone and, you know, somebody's really kind of stressing me out on the other side. I can just kind of like uh, shake this back and forth and just be, you know, happy, happy, happy on the phone. So that was uh, great for that. So that's it for this particular one. Um, I hope this comes out okay. And, uh, See you later. Bye-bye.